Good morning everyone. Welcome to my class of economics. Today I am going to take chapter analysis of data class 10 economics. Okay. In the last class we discussed about the collection and presentation of data and we discussed about the series individual series then you have uh, continuous series discrete series now in this chapter analysis of data we are going to learn about arithmetic mean first of all central tendency is a term used in the chapter let us understand that central tendency what is central tendency Now central tendency means data is everywhere but that collectively the data uh, and the uh, you can say data to tendency of uh, data to cluster toward the central location okay you can say tendency of data to cluster towards the central central location now what is this see um, if i say that in your class you are getting marks okay 20 50 100 80 90 okay now uh, this is a clustered data but if i give you the percentage how much you have scored like if i say last year you scored 97 percent marks now this are uh, different subjects are coming together into one percentage isn't it so ye jo bikha hua data hai when you uh, convert it into one single data ya tendency central tendency usko kehte hain jo central location pe aa jaye theek hai na uh, instead of telling marks of various subject you will just tell your percentage right so this is what is called central tendency and the first uh, and very important measure of central tendency is arithmetic mean arithmetic mean is the tendency is the central tendency one of the central tendency okay and in this chapter we are going to learn about the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean you can say averages they are also known as averages isn't it average of anything now in the last chapter i told you about different series accordingly we will see in this chapter what formulas are there for each type of series okay so let us say first is the individual series individual series example 10 these are some marks 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay these are the marks of your subject out of 50 five subjects so how you will calculate the average or mean mean symbol is x bar which is equal to sum of observation upon total number of observations okay so here sum of observation will be 10 20 30 40 50 40 plus 50 upon how many observations are there 5 okay you can say uh, this can be depicted as sigma x upon n okay so 30 50 60 uh, uh, 150 okay 150 divided by 5 is your 30 on an average you are getting 30 percent or 30 marks in every subject okay so this is individual series and this is the formula for individual series second series is your discrete series 
Now, what was discrete series if you remember? Where frequency is given. Okay? Discrete series. And the formula which you apply for discrete series and uh, you should know like uh, discrete series I give you an example like uh, marks. We can take simple example. These are marks. Suppose same 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. And these are number of students. Who are getting these 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? 10, say 2, 20, say 3, say and 1, okay? So, the total number of students here are 10, okay? We can say sigma f is equal to 10, okay? Sigma f or you can say n. This is, this, this is also n. n is number of student is equal to 10. Now, the formula which we apply for discrete series is sigma fx upon n. Okay. Now, this is f. Number of students. Here, marks are x and number of students are f. Okay, and fx is f multiplied by x. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to just multiply these 10 into 2, 20, 20 into 3, 60, 30 into 4, 120, and 40 into 1 is 40. Okay, and we will sum it summation this is summation fx which is equal to let us add it 6 7 8 9 10 14 240 okay now what will be our mean mean will be sigma fx which is 240 upon n which is 10 so on an average 24 marks each student is getting got it so, this is your discrete series formula and this is the best formula for discrete series. Just find out fx and then divide it by n. Then you have your third series which is your continuous series. Continuous series. And the formula for continuous series, continuous series I told you 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and then f is given. Now in continuous series, uh, the formula for mean is equal to, we are going to take step deviation method, okay. We are directly coming to step deviation method or shortcut method of calculating mean. Step deviation method, okay? Because this is the one which is asked in the exam. So, I am going to just give you the crux and one formula for each series. So, that you don't get confused. The formula is A plus sigma F D dash upon sigma F into I. Now, what are these figures? You will understand by the formula, okay? By uh, the example I am giving you. We will take a small example so that it gets easily to you. Marks, this is marks are x, okay? Then frequency, yeah, number of students you can say. Is your f. Okay, and we'll take a series very simple: zero to ten marks, then ten to twenty marks, and twenty to thirty, and thirty to forty. Okay, number of students like before, we will take it as two, three, 
4 and 1 okay so here also it comes to your sigma f is equal to 10 okay sigma f and are all one and same thing number of students now what we have to do in this series after uh, this 0 to 10 from 0 to 10 you have to find the mid value which is x this is actually the x that is the mid value between 0 to 10 is 5 10 to 20 is 15 20 to 30 is 25 and 30 to 30 40 is 35 okay and another formula for finding midpoint is just add this 10 plus 0 upon 2 that is 5 okay 20 plus 10 upon 2 that is 15 okay this is how we can calculate if you don't know how to find out midpoint now what we do is in this uh, we take one any number as a now a is your assumed mean okay here a means assumed mean now how uh, what you do is you find x minus a d u that is your d x minus a this x minus a now here x is your 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 isn't it then x is your uh, 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 25 minus 5 is equal to 20 35 minus 5 is equal to 30 okay now what we'll do next is we will find d dash now d dash is nothing but d upon i now what is this i i which is equal to this difference 0 to 10 how much is the difference class interval that is 10 okay now d dash we will find that means 0 upon 10 is 0 10 upon 10 is 1 20 upon 10 is 2 and 30 upon 10 is 3 okay next step is multiply by f and d dash f d dash okay f d dash 2 multiply by 0 is 0 3 multiply by 1 is 3 4 multiply by 2 is 8 1 multiply by 3 is 3 okay this is fd dash now what we have to find summation fd dash fd summation of all this fd dash and summation fd dash is 3 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay now just apply formula mean is equal to a now a is uh, we assumed a as 5 plus fd dash is 14 divided by sigma f that is 10 and multiply by 10 okay how to solve this type of equation you will just cancel first solve this one and then add 10 divided by 10 uh, is 1 and 5 plus 14 is 19 so this is the uh, these are the uh, 19 marks on an average every student is getting i hope these formulas are clear to all of you and just apply these three basic formulas for three different series i uh, thank you very much